What do I mean by a super beginner? I mean someone who just doesn't know much mathematics. You know, if you have been out of school for a while or you just didn't do well in school um, or maybe you're just learning it for the first time because you've never seen it. If for whatever reason you feel like your math is really weak, then in this video I want to show you how you can change that and I'm going to give you two options. One is for like super, super beginners and one is just for like super beginners. So let's start with the one for super, super beginners. So if you feel like your math is really, really weak, so like you just barely know how to add and subtract and stuff like that, then you want to look at something like this. This is an option. Now this is not a textbook. This is a workbook, which means that it has answers to every single problem and you can actually write in the book. It also means that it's super inexpensive. That's another reason I wanted to show you this one. It's called Essential Pre-Algebra Skills Practice Workbook. It's by Chris McMullen. And this is a book that you can work through and use to learn basic mathematics. And what I like about this book is that, for example, here it talks about subtraction, right? And then it gives you examples. And then you have tons of problems, right? You have tons of problems. And then when you look in the back of the book, you actually have answers to all of these problems, which is really, really good, right? You have answers to everything in the back of the book, which makes it super awesome for uh, checking your work. So let's look at some of the topics that this book covers just to see if you think it's right for you because, again, this is for super, super beginners. It starts with exponents. This is pre-algebra, order of operations, fractions, decimals, percents, working with expressions, solving equations, ratio problems, rate problems and inequalities, and then you have an answer key. So this is actually where I started mathematics. Um, I started, you know, where most people start, right? And it's a good place to start because you learn the basics. Now, if you feel like, you know, you know about fractions, you know about decimals, you know about numbers, then you can jump ahead to this other book. And again, this is not a perfect book because these are workbooks. They don't have everything, but they're super affordable. And again, they have all the answers. This is Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers. This one has a little bit more advanced topics. And again, it has all the answers. Let me just show you some of the topics. And it's very limited in the topics, but what it does have it covers well. So linear equations with integral coefficients, that basically means the coefficients are whole numbers, so like 2x plus 5 equals 0. Linear equations with fractional coefficients, that basically means you have fractions in the equations. Simple quadratic equations, factoring quadratic equations, formula for the quadratic equation, cross multiplying, and systems of linear equations. So very, very restricted in terms of its topics and it has an answer key, so you have answers to every single problem. So again, both of these books are really, really for beginners. I want to emphasize that because they don't have everything. Um, they're not textbooks, but, but what they do cover, they cover well because they have tons of problems. I mean, look at all of these quadratic equations. I mean, this is crazy, right? There's so many problems here. It's insane. It's just problem after problem after problem, and you see that you can write in the book which I think makes them a really good choice for people who are learning. I mean, look at this. It's just insane how many problems there are in this book. So how the books work are, you have like a little introduction. Um, the author, Chris McMullen, does a really good job uh, trying to explain everything. I feel like the explanations in this book, the examples, the verbal explanations are very similar to what you would get from watching like a YouTube video. So he takes extra effort and explaining. It doesn't really read like a regular textbook. So if you've tried regular math books, this might be something to try. And then after you go through everything, he gives you some examples. As you can see here, I mean, he just goes into painstaking labor here to explain how to factor. I mean, he shows you all the possibilities and then how to check your answer uh, and then how to solve the equation. And then, and then here you can see you have the examples. And then you can look in the back of the book and just check your work. So how do you use books like these? Like, let's say you buy one of these books. I'll leave links uh, in the description so you can check them out. Let's say you buy one. What do you do, right? So my advice is to try to do at least one problem every day. Like, if you can get yourself to sit down and do one problem from, from whichever one of these you buy, um, I think you're going to get better at math. And you might say, well, is one problem really enough? Well, 
you could tell yourself that you're going to do an hour of mathematics every day, but what I have found uh, with most people who do that is that they can't keep it up. And it's not because they're not disciplined or because they're lazy, it's just because as human beings, when we see a task in front of us and it's like an hour a day, on some days we're not gonna wanna do it because some days we're gonna be distracted, right? Some days you're gonna have uh, you know, problems, right? You might be sick, you might have a problem with your friend or your significant other, you might have a problem at work, you might have other responsibilities. So if you tell yourself you're gonna do at least one math problem a day, I think it's just a good way to get yourself to do it. And once you sit down, once you get a piece of paper and you sit down and like you start doing a problem from one of these books, you, you're, you're in the zone, you know what I mean? You, you're, you're thinking. And if you do it in the morning, I think the morning is the best time, this is just, just for me, you'll think about it the rest of the day. You know, if you solve a quadratic equation from this book in the morning, and then you go to work or you go to class or whatever, you'll be like, oh yeah, what'd you do this morning? Well, you, you solved the quadratic equation, you've already done something good for your day. You've already like owned the day. You've done something productive, you've moved forward in your life somehow because you, you've learned some mathematics for that day. And the rest of your day is just whatever, you know, you've, You've accomplished something. And I think that says something about, you know, doing math every day, you know, it's like training your mind every day. Now these books aren't perfect. Um, again, they're workbooks, they don't have everything, but they're super affordable, you can write in them, and they will make you better at mathematics, right? They'll make you better at math. And I, if you actually did every problem in these books, I mean, you would know everything in these books. There's just so much, so many practice problems that uh, I, I don't think it's realistic for someone to sit down and do them all, but that's good, right? Because you'll, you'll always have enough problems to do, which is really good. So again, this one is for super, super beginners, pre-algebra. If you just like don't know much at all, I mean, it's just here's some of the topics in the back, really basic stuff, right? Adding, subtracting, fractions, decimals, stuff like that. And then here, this is for someone who's going into actual algebra. Uh, it's called algebra, whereas this one is pre-algebra. So, and again, not perfect, but Super awesome. I'll leave links in the description in case you want to check these out. I also have math courses, but my math courses actually start uh, at the level, at the algebra level. So um, my courses, my college algebra course has everything in this book and like way more, like 10 times more or more than that, like 20 times more. Uh, my courses are, are on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to check them out, please use my website. It's mathsorcerer.com. And if you do that, it does two things. One, it helps me greatly and two, it can help you because I lowered the price on all my courses to make them as inexpensive as possible. So if you click the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, you should get the lowest possible price. So yeah, check those out if you wanna learn algebra, calculus, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus, et cetera. I have tons of courses there. Also, if you feel like you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And I do have another YouTube channel. Uh, it's The Fitness Sorcerer, but yeah, both of these books are really good. They're inexpensive. Uh, they're not perfect because they're workbooks. So they don't have all the material you would find in an actual textbook, right? But uh, they're inexpensive and they have good explanations and they have tons of examples and tons of problems and you have all the answers. So it's a really cheap way to get back into like doing math every day. Anyways, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.